So now we come to the N-band EQ. And you guys, what can I say about the N-band EQ? Look at all this stuff. I mean, there's a lot going on here. So this is going to enable you to control your audio at a very, very granular level level. So let's say you wanted to hone in on one particular frequency and just completely remove that from your audio, you can do it. Or if there's a particular frequency that you really want to enhance, you can do it with the N-band audio. And unlike, you know, the high pass filter and the low pass filter where there's just one, there's two sliders and just one way to make that sound, there are multiple sliders here. So this is going to give you a lot of different frequencies to be able to work with. So right at the top, you can see there's a slider with global gain. So if you ever want to, if you're working with something and it doesn't seem like you, you can't hear it well enough, you can always go up to that global gain and increase that from there so you have a better understanding of what that audio sounds like. But what I want to do is hone in on a particular frequency to give you an example of exactly what we can do with the N-band filter. What I need to do here is bypass the preset for this. So I'm just going to pull back the preset so that we can get into a particular, and I do want to keep this on parametric EQ, by the way. So let's go ahead and the way that we're going to, being that there's no visual representation of the frequencies, we're really going to have to listen to hone in on the frequencies. And to really hear the frequencies, we're gonna have to pull the gain knob all the way up to do that. So let's go ahead and we, what we're going to do is called sweeping through the frequencies. We're gonna sweep through all of the different frequencies and listen for anything that we think sounds problematic. And then we can pull down the gain on, on that, reducing it or taking it out completely. Or if there's something that we feel we like, we can enhance it. So let's go ahead and just begin sweeping through the frequencies here. So I'll actually pull this back to the beginning. I'm making this video for a few different reasons. One, I need to get some audio samples because my next video, I'm going to do the audio tutorial in Luma Fusion. How do we EQ our audio? How do we do audio ducking and the recommended settings for that? And how can we polish up audio that's maybe not so wonderful? So that will be coming up. And while we're on the topic of audio... By the way, you might notice that the frequencies end at 21,609. That's because human ears can't hear beyond, uh, I think it's 22,000 hertz. No one can hear beyond that. Well, dogs and animals can hear, but the human ear cannot. That's why it stops there. Let's sweep through again. How do we EQ our audio? How do we do audio ducking and the recommended settings for that? And how can we polish up audio that's maybe not so wonderful? So that will be coming up. And while we're on the topic of audio, I figured I would go ahead and do a review of this microphone that I've had for a few weeks. This is the Pop Voice Lavalier Microphone. You can get this on Amazon for a whopping 11 bucks right now. And once again, we come to the bandwidth. So what I can do now that I've reduced the gain at that particular frequency is I can spread the bandwidth or make it definitely focused in on that particular frequency. So let's widen it out and bring it back down to hear what the difference is. And I've listened to it. I actually did another video with this. No one could tell the difference. Everybody just assumed it was my deity microphone. And I think the audio from this is totally amazing. So listen, I have YouTube playing in my office. Okay, I think that sounds good. So let's go down. Once again, we are going to keep this bypass the preset. Make sure this is on parametric and we are going to pull up the gain and we are going to again sweep through the frequencies. We're on the topic of audio. I figured I would go ahead and do a review of this microphone that I've had for a few weeks. This is the Pop Voice Lavalier microphone. You can get this on Amazon for a whopping 11 bucks right now. And I've listened to it. I actually did another video with this. No one could tell the difference. Everybody just assumed it was my deity microphone. And I think the audio from this is totally amazing. So let's with this no one could tell the difference everybody just assumed it was my deity microphone and I think the audio from this is totally amazing assumed it was my deity microphone and I think the audio from this is totally amazing 
So listen, I have YouTube playing in my office all day long. It's on my iPad. Now, I may not just sit and watch YouTube, but I'm definitely listening to it. And if there's one thing I can't stand, it's when Amazon video from this is totally um, from this is totally. OK, so what I did there with that particular frequency, I did. What I would consider a little bit of a de I pulled out some of that harshness from my S's because I have a chip in one of my bottom teeth. And sometimes when I just pronounce the S, it is just violent and harsh. So let's go ahead and go down to the next one. We're going to bypass another frequency. Once again, we're going to pull up the gain and really sweep the frequencies. Amazing. How do we do audio ducking and the recommended settings for that? And how can we polish up audio that's maybe not so wonderful? So that will be coming up. And while we're on the topic of audio, I figured I would go ahead and do a review of this microphone that I've had for a few weeks. This is the Pop Voice Level Air microphone. So you hear when I pulled down the gain on that particular frequency, how now the audio is significantly more quiet. So we can go up to the top and pull up the global gain to bring some of that back so that we can continue on with the rest of them. You can get this on Amazon for a whopping 11 bucks right now. And I Okay, so where was uh oh. And I think that's good. Listen to it. I actually did another video with this. No one could tell the difference. audio, I figured I would go ahead. So you guys can hear, I mean, and do a when you start working with the different frequencies and you start reducing the gain on some of those frequencies, that it seems like the volume gets incredibly low. So what you can do is go right up to the very top and increase the global gain slider. So this is going to bring back that presence so you can continue working with all of the different frequencies. And you can work with as many as you want going all the way down. But uh, so that's just a basic understanding of that N-band EQ. So I, I know it seems very complicated and you really have to have, I would think, a trained ear to work with this particular one because it's very difficult to, to use it without that visual representation. So let's go ahead and dump that out. All right, now come on now. You know what the next one is. It's pitch. We all know what the pitch does. Well, I guess we're all going to have a laugh at my expense, but that's okay. So obviously pitch is where we can change up the pitch of our voice, make it go super high so that we sound like a chipmunk, or we can make it significantly lower so that we sound like a man, basically. So let's go, let's go ahead and see what I would sound like if I was uh, in a group called Alvin and the Chipmunks. Oh, wait, we've got to do the male voice of, thanks for popping by my channel. Let's do it in the male voice. Welcome, ladies. I'm John Sontami Sabuski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. I'm making this video for a few <laughs> And that's basically the only thing that I would ever use the pitch for. So goodbye, pitch. So moving on, we come to the parametric EQ. So if you found that N band one just too much and too confusing, good news. The parametric EQ is very similar to the N band EQ, but instead of there being a lot of different ones, this is just going to allow you to work with one frequency in particular. So let's go ahead, same thing here, what we're going to do to really listen to the frequencies while we're sweeping is we're going to pull down the cue, which is the bandwidth, and we are going to pop up the gain. So let's go ahead and sweep through the frequencies here. Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. I'm making this video for a few different reasons. One, I needed to get some audio samples because my next video, I'm going to do the audio tutorial in LumaFusion. How do we EQ our audio? How do we do audio ducking and the recommended settings for that? And how can we polish up audio that's maybe not so wonderful? So that will be coming up. And while we're on the topic of audio, I figured I would go ahead and do a review of this microphone that I've had for a few weeks. This is the Pop Voice Lavalier microphone. 
You can get this on Amazon for a whopping 11 bucks. For I actually think that does sound a lot better. Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski. Thank you so it's much It's just, it seems like it's smoothing out some of the bassiness there and taking out some of the, um, I don't know. It just sounds better. It does. It sounds better to me. Okay, we're almost done. We come to the last one, and this is the limiter. So by the way, whenever you're EQing your audio, the limiter is always going to be your final step in equalization. It's the very, very last thing that you're going to do. Let's go ahead and hit that. Now a limiter is very similar to a compressor. And let's go ahead and look at the audio here. You see how there are some peaks here that are quite wide, and then there are other sections that are very narrow and thin. What a compressor would do is bring down those peaks and expand out the thinner areas so that that audio track is going to be more consistent throughout. That is what the limiter does as well. But instead of just, you know, leveling everything out, it's going to throw a hard brick wall up around your audio so it doesn't exceed a certain level. And you may notice these two sliders here, attack time and release time. This gives us control as to how we're adjusting the audio when that audio is broaching that brick wall. And you're coming up to it and sometimes in audio you can hear it almost sounds like well it's called pumping in the in the audio when you're coming up to that limit area and it sounds like it's getting louder and then all of a sudden the volume will drop very quickly that's called pumping so with the attack time and release time you can control that so that you don't get that pumping it's going to be more of a smooth transition between the audio and the audio is fluctuating when it's right up against that limit all right finally done Whew, done Okay, so now that we've walked through all the different filters and have a better understanding of how we can use it to EQ our audio or how we can use it in sound effects, my next video, I'm actually going to bring in a sample of audio to EQ. And I was thinking, of course, I would use the audio from the video where I reviewed the Pop Voice Lavalier microphone, but the problem with that is it's too good. I want to use something that's less than stellar. This way, you know, we're going to have a real understanding of how to do it. So I'll probably just record something with my camera's internal microphone. So that's, that's never going to sound good. So we'll go ahead and do that. But, you know, having said that, we understand that there are real limitations with the audio section in LumaFusion. And that's okay because it's a video editor. It's not there to, you know, it's not audition. It's not GarageBand. It's not Reaper. It's not Audacity. It's a bare bones way of doing a little EQ, just a, a little way to polish up your audio for your videos. Oh, and by the way, I got an invitation from the Peppy Techie to do a live stream together. I don't know exactly when. I'm not even really sure exactly how, but I do know that I finally get to use this, this Elgato cam link. <laughs> I bought that a couple of months ago to do something else and it that never happened. So at least I'm going to go and have the opportunity to use that. I'll have to figure out how to do it. I'm not exactly sure when it's going to happen, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We can communicate with you guys live right there. So we'll keep you posted as to when we're going to do it and who else is going to be involved. She has some feelers out to some other creators to see if they want to join in as well. So I'm very excited for that to happen. Thank you for thinking of that peppy techie. I think it's going to be an awesome time. Well, thank you so much for joining me tonight. And until next time, wear your sunblock.